Welcome back, guys. Book summary number six. Happy Friday. Today we got Leading from Purpose by Nick Craig. It's all about finding your purpose in life and living a more fulfilled life. So with that, let's get to it. Starting off with a quote that I absolutely love. When you are at peace with who you are, there's a level of satisfaction that is bigger than the momentary happiness that everyone is chasing but can't seem to find. Absolutely love that. When you're at peace with yourself, you're fulfilled in life, and you're not chasing that, that momentary happiness. You just you have complete bliss and joy and fulfillment. So find your purpose, and here's how. Our purpose is, is the unique lens in which we see the world, and uh, how to find it is, you know, it's what your bosses or your friends say about you when you leave. Um, what they say they'll miss about you when you leave, rather. And you can also search for your purpose um, when you remember those like magical childhood moments and memories where, you know, you're in a flow state or you did something awesome. That's where you can find your purpose. And it has to work for all walks of life, not just at work. It has to work at work and at home. So you got to pick something that uh, works both ways. And I absolutely love this too. He says, continually choose the hard rights over the easy wrongs. So for me, this is mainly like choose to be self-disciplined rather than to give into temptations. That's what I really view it as and very, very valuable advice. So our, a parent's purpose is to raise kids and it's certainly not an easy feat, not always the most fun feat, but it's the hard right over the easy wrong of just, you know, neglecting your child or whatever. It's not always fun, but it gives you meaning and purpose. And purpose is what gives us the energy to keep on going. Purpose statements, if you want to, you can you know, try to write your purpose statement down. Uh, it should be filled with unique words. So he had one example of a guy was that was to be Buzz Lightyear, to inspire others to know no bounds, take bold action, and achieve great things. So if you can, you know, mix in something a little bit silly with your purpose, uh, purpose statement, that's really good. And that's something that you should do because it'll help you remember it better and it'll help you take on a more silly version of yourself. And it's good stress. Like I said before, leading from purpose is not always easy or fun, but it does create good stress, good stress, and it lets you know you're choosing the hard right over the easy wrongs. You can also find your purpose in crucible stories. So we find our purpose from the toughest situation oftentimes. So you can look back on you know, your toughest situations in life and say, okay, what made me keep going? What gave me, what gave me meaning? And um, you can search for, essentially it's searching for your why, your purpose. And you know, flow state activities can also lead you to your purpose. So when you forget what you're doing, when time just goes by, you forget to eat, that's also when you can find, it. You can find your purpose in that or through that. And leaders who lead from purpose are the most clear and calm during chaos. You know, oftentimes they run towards the fire to put it out and help others who are in it. And purpose leads us to a deeper truth about who we truly are. So that's it uh, for Leading from Purpose by Nick Craig. It's a great book. It'll be in the description. Um, if I had to guess, I would say that your purpose right now, at this very moment, is to like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel guys I've, I've been posting three videos every week monday wednesday friday that's 150 per year incredible knowledge incredible value so you know keep learning keep growing keep living life hey guys so lifelong learning and reading books is just one part of sticky habits university and discipline 101 imagine kicking all your bad habits to the curb and imagine how successful you'd feel after implementing 10 new healthy habits after enrolling in Discipline 101, my new course, that's how you'll feel every single day. Because it's simple. It all boils down to constantly reinventing yourself through self-discipline and healthy habits. Because that maximizes your freedom and it maximizes your fulfillment. Living like this changed my life. Go check it out.